So, um, I've been painting the leaves on the front. I didn't finish the back, but here's the example that we worked with. Um, a couple things I want to say to you are, I think that in order to not waste a ton of your hand sanitizer on things that don't matter, you might want to use more than one brush, one for the darker um, paint, the redder in this case, and one for the yellow. Um, mine are both flat brushes. That's what works best for me when I do this technique. So um, I just want to go over this once with you here with the actual petals on the front and add a couple of bits of information. So I wiped that off and I'm going through and I'm pulling, as you can see, I'm pulling the brush the brush that I wiped on the cloth all the way to the end of the petal from the base to the end and I'm even going to go and I'm going to do the sides when you paint the back don't paint the sides because um, you're going to want those to have the same dry brush technique it just makes your life easier and it, the overall look is a little bit better I think now I'm going to the other brush with the red and I'm starting a little bit towards the center and I'm pulling up towards the end of the petal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my brush over because there's a little bit of paint on that side and I really honestly I never worry about the white that's showing through you can go, if you want, back over the sides with the darker. Um, that will, you know, it'll reflect then how the leaf looks on top, if, if you want, or you can just let it be yellow. And the other thing I want to say is, you see these little bits where it is red and yellow on the berries? Don't even worry about that, because you can paint those a solid color if you want, or you can let those be more than one color also um, and that will give it a little bit of um, shade and depth if you let them have little bits here and there again i'm pulling it through all the way to the end of the petal this time my brush isn't as dry as it should be there we go there we go and i'm um, You'll find that if you use um, two brushes, it keeps the colors from getting too muddy. Um, because these aren't pure pigments, you don't necessarily end up with the obvious yellow and red make orange. Sometimes you end up with something a little bit pinky or a little bit peachy or muddy. So you're going to want to um, if you're going to use these and you aren't going to use hardcore primary colors, you're going to probably want to use more than one brush. You just have to remember to switch. And the, the brush will actually do the mixing for you. That's why you work with one leaf at a time. You could go through and do all the leaves in yellow and then go back and do them all with the red. But if you do that, you miss out on on the little bits of yellow paint that are still damp and the color mixing that can go on between the red and the yellow if, if it's still a little bit workable. And as you can see, the little veins that we drew in the petals are showing up. Okay, and maybe do the sides a little bit, just so it keeps that quasi-realistic look going. All right. And then I would go back in and I would do these. And don't, seriously, do not be afraid about getting paint on some other parts of things or uh, of, of this. Don't. This isn't supposed to be perfect. It's not, it, this isn't photorealism. First of all, this is supposed to be fun. And I have spent way too many years 
as an artist trying to be something I wasn't and trying and that most of the time that something I wasn't was perfect um, I think you know one of the things that you really need to do is remind yourself that this isn't brain surgery that nobody dies from this and that if you're not enjoying it you should probably be doing something else so have a good time with it and if this is new for you this style of painting even better because um, the object in art is to try new things really and experiment with them and if you come up with something on your own or something you like um, great then you've developed something that maybe you can share with other people or you can do great work with um, but I think it's important for artists to keep experimenting and trying things even if they don't know how they'll come out and if you don't know how this is gonna go well terrific it, it might be easier than skydiving which you won't know how that's gonna go either so there you have it that is basic dry brushing okay I'll be back in a minute